So it's been a little while since I've gotten to the beehives, being out of town for a few weeks. Where we left it off, I put in empty supers in each of the hives. And now it's been three weeks and now I have to check on the situation. There was a lot of bee activity. I think that some of these hives are ready for harvest. Definitely this hive. It was pretty full last time I looked. So I wanna see what they've done since then. Wow, this hive is filled with bees. Surprise, surprise. These were all empty frames when I put them in, so I'll be curious to see what they filled out. Another one filled with nectar. Man, the bees are filling this out. Out of the frames that I put in, the frames that had the most um, comb already drawn out, the bees were able to fill these right away. Look at these cute faces. Aren't these the cutest faces when they all look up at you like this? They're all wondering what I'm doing. So, so I need to pick a day this week to pull those and coordinate with my friend to extract. Now this middle frame, this middle hive is the other one that's had a lot of activity. Lots of bees coming in and out. So I think they've expanded quite a bit. I'm gonna open it up and see. Looking good. A lot of bees in there. Definitely expanded compared to last summer. They were kind of weak. But have they put up any honey? That is the question. Did they make use of these frames? Let's go see. Not much. Hey, check it out. We've got a bee hatching. Right there. A drone is emerging out of its cell. That's a male bee. He's got bigger eyes. And he's being born. All right, so hive two expanding, not really a lot of honey. There's probably some below that they need to, to work with. So I'm not gonna mess around with trying to take any frames out of those, but uh, that's a good sign. They're gonna be stronger for this winter. Now the last hive has the least amount of activity. I do see some activity, some pollen going in, some bees flying in, but I don't expect to see much different from when I checked on them last time. Mm. Another somewhat empty frame, putting up pollen. Maybe we're getting to it, to it closer to a brood nest. So I'm really pleased. They're really in good shape, I think. They're expanding. They've got resources. All right, so not bad. Kind of nice to see that the hives are building up. My two weaker hives are really building up right now and my big hive is still expanding and it's ready for harvest, I'm pretty sure, on the supers underneath that top one. So uh, I'm gonna give my friend a call and see if I can set up a day to come and use his extractor because it's the best when you can just extract your honey and they still have that full comb where you can put it right back in the hive and the bees can use it. So that's my strategy. Today's the day I'm going to harvest some honey, finally, after all this time, in a really strong year for the bees. A lot of flowers, a lot of rain, so it's a good honey harvest year. So the step one to do this is I need to use my natural honey harvester. This is a good smelling one. It smells like almonds, but the bees hate the scent because I think it reminds them of uh, I think it's cyanide, something like that, that, that has a felt on it and you spray it down with this stuff. And then the fumes kind of go into the hive and that pushes the bees off of the honey frames. But I'm gonna use just the towel and I'm gonna put, spray this down and then I'm going to put the lid back on and wait about 20 minutes, half an hour before I start pulling the frames. So that's what to do first. So those two did not really have any honey for harvest, but this one does. So this is the hive I'm going in. Fifteen to twenty sprays. Okay. All right. So the weather has turned really quickly. It got really overcast. Uh, there is rain in the forecast, and it's going to cool off. So I want to get this job done before we get rained on, and. Look at the outside of the hive. You can see how the bees are 
clustered on the outside of the entrance there because it stinks inside. So, oh, I just felt a raindrop. So I need to get the show on the road. Uh, suit up. Got my bee brush and I got my Tupperware container over here. This is where I'm going to put my frames in this container. So I got to get pulled my frames, put them in there, put the lid back on because the bees are pretty agitated and I got to suit up for this one. But it's really quick work. You know, people ask about the flow hive and they say, oh, it's so easy to get your honey out of it. But this is pretty easy too when you use the fume board and you're just pulling your frames. It's actually really, really quick to do. Okay, well that's it. Just four frames this year. <laughs> I knew, I thought there was more, and it definitely looked like there was a lot more, um, but it's not all capped honey. There was brood in the middle and brood below. You know, once you see uh, brood in the top super, then you know that she's got, it's not filled with honey below that, so. There's Bob's bees. Oh, he's got a camera on it. Yeah, well, solar. solar. Nice view. All right. Okay, here we are at our friend Bob's house. He's letting us use his awesome brand new extractor. Hasn't even been used yet. And we're gonna try it out with our four frames of honey. So, here's the frames in here. Ooh, they're already sticky. Makes yeah. a mess real quick. Yeah. <laughs> it's a yeah. hot, sharp knife, so you see how it melts the wax? really cool but it's also hard to get down in there <laughs> when uh, it's not on the surface so I've got to kind of and Bob and that's called an, yeah, an uncapping fork and I think you can just rake it just rake across the top oh, and that okay. just pop, pops all the holes oh, okay. yeah oh. yeah so that's one that's done and now that can go in the extractor yeah oh, just that's awesome. stick it in there like that right? yep so the, it'll, as you spin it, the force will push it against the, right. so I it's, guess. This one's loaded. So. You know, in a 10 frame hive, sometimes I just put nine frames and space them more and they make thicker oh, honeycombs. Okay. And I'm it's a little bit easier to maneuver. I almost never put 10 frames in. Oh, okay. Because 10 frames, it's so tight and yeah. it's, um, sometimes it's idea. almost hard to put them all back in. Is that four of them? Okay. Oh God. All right. Here we go. Now, now what? Slow, baby. Slow. <laughs> I would start really slow. Yeah. So is on. there more than one setting? Yeah. Woo! It's got, a little, it's got a little shimmy to it. <laughs> if we could do it fast enough.
Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, that's not bad. I mean, a lot of times you expect it to be really, really full, but there's a lot of honey on the sides and Brian's scraping it down. It that's all lot, adds up. That's a lot of honey. It all adds up, you'll be surprised. There's as much on the side as there is. Yeah, exactly. So we're using a rubber spatula to really scrape down the sides. And so then we're gonna go and uh, get the jars ready, but we'll have to do a little bit of sieving through to catch some of the, there's I a see. lot of capped, there's a lot of wax chips in there. All right, here we go. Part two is we have to filter this honey before we can put it in the jar. And I had to rush and throw some in the jar already at Bob's house, so I'm gonna refilter this. But we had to stop at the store, go to town, buy a paint filter, so we have a way to strain out our honey. I prefer the paint filter method the best. So filter it out. We're gonna hang it off this tripod to kind of finish draining, and then we'll bottle it. Now I'm gonna call my assistant. Assistant. <laughs> okay. So, I guess I'm going to do the... Okay. You're going to do the heavy lifting? I'm going to do the out. Okay. Pouring. I'm going to try to get as much... Oh, that's heavy. That's a... That's a definitely a 20, 25 pound weight. Okay, so we're at a little bit of a waiting game. We've got one bowl full of honey and I'm using the rest of this cap, um, honey right here that we're filtering going into the jar. But I'm gonna start filling these jars. So while that one's going, I'm wondering how much. I think I've got about three, at least three more quarts, maybe four. So no easy way to do this without being messy. I'm just gonna start scooping. It would be good if I used something with a spout on it and I could just pour it right into the jars, but I just have one big bucket like that and I don't feel like pulling it out. And the bucket that I have has a nozzle on it and the nozzle's not connected right now, so I'm not sure how tight it is. I don't want any leaks. So that's why I'm doing it this old fashioned way with just using a scoop. That's it for the honey harvest. So about four and a half quarts this time, but I'm not saying it's all said and done. I wouldn't be surprised if I pull out one more frame or two before the end of the summer, but not too bad for a great summer year and not too bad for forgetting to put on my queen excluder. <laughs> so probably would have had more if I had remembered to do that, but this is a pretty good one. So we'll let you guys know how it tastes. All right, see ya.